And here's our head coach, <clears throat> David Rabibo, and of course, our senior guard, uh, Brady Dunlap. Gentlemen, thank you so much for being here. First of all, Coach, let's, let's just talk about what you've done there and how cool it is for you to go around knowing what you've just done. And congratulations to you, you, and, your, you. you and your team. Thank you. It's a, um, a testament to our school, um, our, our administration, and these unbelievable players. You know, um, we, we, I was hired eight years ago, and uh, my first year we actually won a state championship. It was Division Four, and to see it uh, seven years later, uh, turn into the highest level mm -hmm. championship that you can win in California basketball, which in my opinion is some of the best basketball around the nation, uh, is, is a testament to our, our program, our staff, our players, and our school. Speaking of your players, uh, Brady, let's talk just a little bit about what you accomplished this year and how surprised, or are you surprised at the success you and your teammates have had? Uh, I wouldn't say I was surprised at all. We put in a lot of work over the last eight or nine months, a lot of uh, long nights, um, long practices and it's just been, uh, it's been super fun and been grinding and super fun we, uh, all the teammates really became a family and uh, surprisingly we had success this year not at all because when we were talking a little while ago you said you know we had to remember what happened last year and that encouraged us for this year no exactly last year we uh, we took that hurt of losing the championship game and watching uh, Centennial celebrate and we, uh, we we held that through throughout this whole year and uh, it fueled us and when we win those championship games, we knew that we didn't want to feel that again. So Left a sour taste in your mouth, didn't no, it? No, no doubt. You better no believe doubt. it. Coach, is this young man the best player you've ever been around? I mean, he's got to be up there <laughs> one of them, right? Um, you know, to, to be his size and uh, have his ability and uh, uh, shot making, um, you know, it's, it's, it's unparalleled. And uh, he's supremely talented, and I'm really excited to see what the future holds. Right. what makes this team, what makes you and your teammates so good? Like, like I said, we're just a, we're truly a mm -hmm. family. Like we're all we're all just so close, and we're mm -hmm. all just best friends. Like none of us, there's no there's no letting there heads the, throughout the entire year. We've just been super close. Like I said, we all go out to eat, we all hang out outside of practice and outside of school, and that just translates to our you know, on the course success. And coach, that's very important when you find that your your team wants to be together not only on the court but maybe more importantly off the court. No question, you know, uh, for us. One of, the, one of the things that let me know that we were a team and we were going to do it, we got to Sacramento, and the uh, first thing our guys asked, mm -hmm. win or lose, coach, we all want to be on the bus and get mm -hmm. back together. Mm -hmm. Can we make that happen? And I was just like, yeah, let's go. Let's do it. You might as well keep on doing it, that's for sure. <laughs> let's get to Demetta and Coach uh, over there because I know they have some questions for you. Go ahead, gentlemen. Well, yeah, I wanted to know if you're going to play in the Drew League this year. I mean, I see what you're doing in high school. You're really playing well. You, you see yourself making an appearance? Well, I mean, if the, if the opportunity is on the table, I mean, I would be more than open to doing so. That would be, be a dream come oh, true. Oh, there you have it. We, we were scouting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Brady, you committed to play at Notre Dame, and then a good friend of mine, Mike Bray, decided mm -hmm. to retire. So what are you looking for as you look for a new school? I mean, something really similar to Harvard Westlake, like a winning culture, like a truly a family, like I said, this relationship with all the coaching mm -hmm. staff and have them trust me and me trust them. And then besides that, just a great education and just to better myself as a person and a human being. So, yes, sir. You mentioned something very important, good education. Yes, sir. We know you're a great basketball <laughs> player. You've got a great coach. But you also mentioned that good education, and I know that's high up on, on the list for both of you, Coach. Absolutely. It's, it's one of the, uh, the biggest draws for me to go to Harvard West. Like, um, leaving the University of San Francisco and, and going was just the amazing academic environment and, and the people and the resources. Um, it just drew me to the place and it's just so special. And one of the things when we meet families who are interested, I just say, if you're coming here just for basketball, you're losing mm -hmm. sight of the bigger picture yeah. of what this place can provide. And so that's a really important factor in this. Congratulations again. You go get some rest. <laughs> <laughs>